haven't made a construction video in a very long time, mostly because I've been working on the farm. It's been several years anyway. Um, what you're looking at here is the masonry heater right in front of you with an oven facing us. I'm standing in the kitchen. And this part of the house was built in the 60s. And the original part where the masonry heater is was built in 1915. I found an old letter, as a matter of fact, behind some casing handwritten from 1915. Um, the design is centered around that masonry heater, which will heat the whole house, primarily the first floor. But the idea is you get a very hot fire in the center of it, and then it radiates in a core, a fire brick core, radiates into the stone, field stone, six inches thick, which then goes into the house. So it's like the rays of the sun. But to do that, you need a direct line of sight. So originally there was a wall with just a single door in there. So one of the first things I did was to, well, one of the things I did was to install this beam here, three uh, 18 inch or 20 inch LVL beams to take the weight of the second floor, which was originally on this wall. And the stairs went up here originally. So the staircase opening was in the ceiling up there. So I relocated the stairs over to this, and there's a temporary wall over in this corner, but there's a temporary wall right here to capture this heat because the rest of this first floor is under construction and has been for at least five years, seven years. Um, I light a fire once a day in here, 40 or 50 pounds of wood, and that's generally enough to keep this at a decent temperature for 24 hours. It's about a thousand square feet on this floor. Um, so like I said, there's a temporary wall here that I'm in the process of just about ready to take down. But before I could do that, or want to do that, I want to be ready to put the drywall up and to finish it off in here. So the part we're walking into is the colder part of the house, the unheated. It's not as cold as outside. It's about 10 degrees outside right now, Fahrenheit. And we did get a little snow last night. We've only had about eight inches of cumulative snow. Here it is the middle of February. And normally there's a foot of, or three feet of snow out there. And there's maybe three inches out there. And temperatures have been 20 degrees consistently higher than normal. Anyway, um, this floor we're standing on, it was all reframed because the joists, this is 18 foot, this distance here, and it's 23 feet this way. These joists were all rotted out on the ends where they bared into the original stone foundation. <clears throat> so what I ended up doing was jacking up the exterior bearing walls, load bearing walls, which is this wall here, and pouring a grade beam about eight inches thick and 12 inches wide, eight inches tall, 12 inches wide of concrete so that's why we have these extra thick walls, exterior walls over here. And then the new bearing wall is this two by four wall here. You can see the old lath is back there. And I'm going to insulate this to like R40 in the walls. Um, like, and here's the temporary wall going here and here. And I've been doing electrical work the past week or so rerouting power lines. So there'll be 12 recessed can lights in this ceiling. Um, one of the switch locations is here. And you can see I've run outlets all along the exterior walls. And they'll get well insulated. Um, then uh, drywall will go up on the ceiling. That's half of the drywall for this ceiling. I've got a drywall lift. Like I said, this temporary wall will come out. This window goes upstairs. I had, these are the stairs I built. These treads are temporary. I'll put some finished treads down when construction is done. But my stairs lead upstairs, obviously, and they're kind of sealed off up there to keep some of the heat down here. It's, it's outdoor room, air temperature upstairs. It's cold upstairs, except for any heat that escapes up. But this window will go on the exterior wall overlooking the staircase eventually it's just too heavy for me to carry up by myself right now so it's going to stay there 
Um, so yeah, 12 can lights. Let's see, they're over here. These are the can lights. I think I'm going to put them in today. There are these recessed cans that have an LED LED insert that will go up in the ceiling. So I've got to get the spacing right on that and then run wiring to them all then power everything up. Then uh, the next thing is to clean all this stuff off the walls and then it'll get a vapor barrier, Visqueen, that will get uh, wrapped around it. Uh, another thing, you can kind of see the uneven joists in the uh, the ceiling here. I've had to electric plane some of them off to get a nice uniform surface because really, originally there was lath and plaster like this here that the plaster could um, make up for un any differences. And the reason you're seeing so many joists up there, I don't know if you can see right there, there's a split in the original, there are only two by eight joists because there was a bearing wall basically at the midpoint to take the weight because this span at 18 plus feet is just too much for a two by eight. I wanted to get rid of that bearing wall. I, I wanted to have a big open room here because of that fireplace design. So what I ended up doing, I sistered two by eights on there. And then I also put some LVL, which are those blue structural, they're man-made lumber, but uh, they're to take the, the span, basically the 18 feet. And I also put some C channel, if you can see that black C channel, I put that in a few spots as well just to stiffen up that floor. It's still a little flexy, but according to the span tables and the load tables, I should be okay. But I am okay up there with that. So the goal here is mid-February. If I can get, I won't be able to do farm work till the end of March at the earliest up here. So I'm hoping to get this um, drywalled the ceiling and the walls in the next four to five weeks. It doesn't seem like that much, but for one guy, this is pretty much a one-man show. I mean, all this construction, all this floor joist. My dad helped a tiny bit, and my nephews helped a tiny bit, but they haven't been here in a while. So, you know, for example, this fireplace weighs 10,000-odd pounds. Uh, masonry heater is what it's called. You can, uh, I took a class at North House, North House Folk School in Grand Marais, Minnesota, about seven or eight years ago. Highly recommend to do that if you're going to build one of these. So there's a fire brick core. You can maybe see the fire brick on the inside of the firebox there. There's air inlets at the bottom. So combustion air comes in here and it is up in the top. It enters into the firebox up in the top of the inside of the door. And then the flue gas, as it draws really well, goes up, hits the top comes across, there's fire brick channels, C channels, inside the stone. So there's two layers. There's the cladding, six inch field stone, and then there's the fire brick core inside. So that heat is going through those channels and it ends up going down below. And there's a fire brick, brick flue inside this bench that goes over and then goes up this chimney out through the roof. So do you, as you can imagine, this foundation or this pad here is supported down below by two steel beams that are on top of it. This is a six inch reinforced concrete pad. And the framing is actually stood off from that pad down in the basement. There's a fairly substantial um, structure down in the basement all the way down to a new foundation. So it was quite a bit of work to tear out this whole floor and to reframe it with this in mind. Um, I did put some drywall up there temporarily, and the exterior of this, at this exterior will be about 110 degrees, this stone, for about 24 hours after a firing. Um, and on this side, I've got an oven. I don't know if it'll show up in there, but I've got a little thermometer in there. Oven temperature, it's about 400 degrees in there right now. And the uh, the front door will be right here. It's temporarily closed off. Um, see outside, a little bit of snow. Practice my Spanish. Dogproof bed. So this wall 
this paneling will come out too. I'll change that, put drywall on that. And then um, that's pretty much it. That's the house tour. So it's uh, been a long time coming. It's It'll be nice to get this uh, next stage wrapped up. Oh, Ten minute long video, some kind of record. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.